I haven't watched television in a few years just because we've been busy doing film courage and you know we watch a lot of Netflix and things like that. But I used to watch a lot of Lifetime movies. Okay. And I'm just wondering, has the character type evolved? Absolutely. And, okay, curious. Yeah. Because what the when I was watching it, it was probably early 2000s, maybe mid 2000s. And so it was more, I'm thinking of like Connie Selica as like, you know, the mom that's fighting for her kids or something, which is great. But I'm just wondering how, has it become a little edgier? I think it has. It's, you know, it's interesting because like anything, television is always reacting to what's going on in society, right? So, um, and, and they're always sort of bound by ratings because that's the game, right? If you have a network, it's all about getting the highest ratings. So. Um, so networks are always evolving and, um, you know, when I, when I remember Lifetime when I was a kid and my mom used to watch it, it was like a lot of like women getting beat up and then like fighting back finally, you know? And so we've kind of gone through all of that and now it's, it's very much about female protagonists, but it's also about evil women and, um, and it's, there's family components to it, but there's also a lot about women who are in their career. So it's, it's really kind of expanded to, um, to, I guess, reflect women in society and what they wanna see. So um, yeah, it's, it, it, and it changes all the time. We get new mandates all the time, like, oh, okay, well, we're not doing those types of movies anymore. We wanna focus more on these types of movies. And so, you know, and then they try it out and either they work or they don't. And um, so again, it's just always evolving. Right. And the theme of the secret in terms, and I'm not talking about the book, The Secret, but like that, that there are like a hidden things that are uncovered. It sounds like that's a huge part. It is. And for, especially for a lifetime, like they really like the everyday woman. So a lot of times it's, you know, a story about a woman who witnessed a crime, you know, something that could happen to you that you wouldn't expect. And now suddenly you're thrown into this situation and you're having to deal with just the tools that you have as, a, as an everyday person uh, to try to get out of this extraordinary situation. And then the whole online component, which when I was watching it was just kind of coming into the sort of zeitgeist. And a lot of that, I mean, so much of it now is reflective of all the social media stuff and cybercrime and and everything that goes on online, online dating. And um, so it's, it's constantly holding up a mirror to what we're doing and it's creating a lot of fears. I mean, I have to, it's kind of funny in the sense that, you know, if you just watched some of these networks, you would think like online dating is the most unsafe thing on the planet to do, right? Because everybody's a crazy, but um, you know, that's what makes them fun too. Right, right. Cause it's always sort of like the perfect guy or the perfect girl or whatever. And I think those are some of the, t yeah. you know, and you don't expect that, but then there's something a little bit off, but we, we get off on that. Like it's, it's kind of interesting, you know? So it's exactly. like a heightened version of what we kind of see anyway. Exactly. And there's an online component to it. You know, whenever a movie premieres, there's a whole, like we watch the Twitter feeds, you know, people watching and tweeting at the same time with people they don't even know you know, watching the same movie and either making fun of it or, you know, oh my God, I can't believe she actually did that. Or, <laughs> oh, I knew it was him, you know, that kind of stuff. And so that they've really embraced that too, because that's the, the direction we've all moved. Fascinating. So if you're doing sort of, instead of like watching a football game and people are tweeting about it or a political debate, they're watching a Lifetime movie. And so mm -hmm. you're looking at that information to seeing like why people reacted a certain way. I find it fascinating yeah. as the writer to see where people are surprised and if we were able to misdirect and if it worked and that kind of thing. So I like watching that. I mean, the, the networks watch it for other reasons because they, um, they have a social media platform and you know, obviously it helps their ratings and stuff. So, but for me, um, I just like to see what people are guessing and what they're not guessing. And if, if we've, you know, duped them into believing this person's the bad guy when it's really that guy. And for me, that's fun.